CJ Edgecombe is the headliner for Lujai, the number five senior in the country. From where we come from, we never even imagined. Uh, this was priceless. This was priceless. There's very few times you get to go home, play in front of your family, um, give back to your family, donate a scholarship to your old middle school and high school. No, I'm home, bro. I'm home, I'm home. I had a bus. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's KJ Smith. I'm here with BJ Edgecombe. We're here in the Bahamas yeah, yeah. Under, under some, some shade. <laughs> Right now, it's been raining for three days. But other than that, you know, how does it feel to be back home? Nah, it feels great. First time home in like eight months. Um, first time like other kids get to see me play, testing it on social media. Um, my uh, like my other family, family members, finally they got to see me play. But, you know, the rain messed up, but it was, it was actually a great homecoming out overall. And, and your mom still lives here. Yep. She was uh, telling me, you know, how many people she brought here. How many family members do you have here? Gee, right now. All I know, they got a lot here right now. Cause I'm walking through the hotel, you're dapping everybody up. It seems like you know everybody in the Bahamas. Nah, it's, it's like they, they send me around. Um, They send me around, so, you know, everyone, you know, friendly people out here. Yeah. And I'm a nice person too, so I ain't gonna be me and look at nobody. Let's try to get everyone with a smile, so. And I mainly know most people though. I've seen them around when I was younger. They, they see me who I am now, so yeah. So two great performances. Last so, night, 30 against Modern Day. We're still thinking it's about 30 that you had today with four threes in a row. Uh, how does it feel to have such a great performance in front of your home crowd? Man, it feels great. Um, like you said, I say, it's the first time seeing me in the group, but then you see me dunking, you know, like the main thing. Um, but you know, I get to show off like my shooting skills and other aspects of the game. I do really well. It was great though. It was great, you know, I had them supporting me, cheering for me. You know, it felt like a real home game. And, and being a senior at Lujai yeah. and being a leader on and off the court, how does it feel to bring your team here? Have you guys got to, I know it's been raining the whole time, but what have you guys been up to, you know, <laughs> off the court? Nah, man, I mean, off the court, we just been bonding and, you know, team chemistry. Um, we haven't, we, have, we haven't had much downtime, to be honest. We had all late games. So, you know, we just was preparing for the game, you know, trying to win everything. And, and your second year uh, playing varsity basketball, COVID year, you weren't allowed to play your freshman sophomore. But you quickly became from not ranked to five star. How does how does that happen? happen? I mean, you just got to work hard. I mean, I work hard the whole time. I never never got down with myself. I never beat up, beat up myself for not having offers or having any stars next to my name. Um, you know, you have you have people in the NBA that haven't had that either, but now they're in the league. So I never look at it as a big accomplishment. No, it's, it's great. It's great to have stars next to your name, but you know the main goal is to make it. But you know, not not being able to play varsity my freshman sophomore year, no pay to toll. I felt I felt behind, so I had to work extra hard. Um, a goal for you guys, you know, rank top five in the country. Yeah. What's your goal with this team that you have right now? Uh, the main goal is to win, to win nationals. Um, that's a matter. I mean, that's the main goal. But you know, just to stay connected throughout the year. You know, teams go through ups and downs. Like the energy gonna drop some days. You gonna have highs and lows. So just just to stay connected, I feel like we have the talent and the depth to win to win it all. So the main thing is staying connected, and the main goal is to win nationals. So for every kid, you know, growing up that wants to oh, oh, in Bahamas oh, oh. and really all over the country that wants to have that 30-point game and wants to be able to jump out the gym, what what do they need to do? Like, what's what's your pregame meal? My pregame meal. Um, to be honest, I barely I barely eat before a game. I just keep it light, probably have like a little chicken and rice or pasta or something. You know, I'll probably just get some little snacks, little healthy snacks or something. But I try not to eat too much before the game. You know, how I look at it is that play. Like if I'm hungry, I'm gonna play harder. That's mm. how I look at it. So, so, so you really have to be hungry right. on the court <laughs> yeah. to play hard. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about that. So I'm gonna I'm remember that in my rec league game. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna not eat before my yeah, rec league um, games. So every day, man. Try, try it. I think that's right then. You can go back to what you normally do, man. Uh, what is your training like in the summer and what is it like now that the season has started? Um, in the summer I was trying to get like two or three days. Trying not to overwork my body. I mean my body. Um I was going hard. Like I was traveling nonstop throughout the summer. I went to Italy and other different places. So 
try to get like one or two workouts a day, try to get as much recovery as I can because I know it would have been a long season and I'm thinking longevity instead of just trying to go and play, 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 you know. So I'm thinking longevity. So I've been managing my body better. To be honest, I've been managing, getting as much as I can because, you know, as season going on, you, know, you have school and other stuff going on, like off the court stuff, on the court, you got to get your workout in, got to get your homework in. So I try to manage my body better. Yeah, towards the end of it, um, you're actually giving away some scholarships. Can you yeah. talk about that a little bit? Um, I mean, for me, it's a big thing to give back. Um, you know, I have, even though I'm still, I'm still growing up, to be honest, but being able to do it like right now, it feels great. Um, you know, having my family here to support me. Phenomenal young man. Hard work off the court, 3.8 GPA, wants to help everybody, wants to love everybody, loves to smile. Um, I think he has a bright future just because of how bright he is. The most important thing that I'm proud of BJ is the person that he is. Um, BJ, your faith and that aspect of who you are is what um, I truly, truly admire about you. Um, your family's done an incredible job of raising you to be fierce but humble at the same time. It's just a rare combination. So. Having had a school, the founder of the school that I came from, having him here, you know, he showed love. He do like he do whatever for me to be honest. Um, you know, having kids that don't have the the funds to even go to a private school or what's not. So giving back, giving back means a lot to me. That's the main thing for me. I don't, I'm not gonna say too much in my speech or anything to be honest. I don't got much to say. Just want to give back. You know, show love to where I came from, from my roots. Um, I could say sacrifice paid off. A lot of sacrifices we made and. I mean, I leave thanks to Almighty God.